Hey guys, it's Anj back with another Tech Talk. And hear me out real quick. What if I told you that in just a few years, your AI assistant, like the one that writes your emails or organizes your calendar, might not just help you, but actually pay its own bills, sign contracts, and even hire other AIs all without you. I know it sounds crazy, but this is the world of decentralized AI agents, where artificial intelligence doesn't just live in big company servers, but actually runs on the blockchain. Right now, most AIs aren't centralized. ChatGPT, Gemini, Claude. They're all controlled by big companies where you get access to them, but you don't own them. But decentralized AI agents, on the other hand, it's a totally different story. These AI programs live on the chain, on the blockchain, which means they can't be shut down by one company. They can hold money in crypto wallets. And they can interact with other agents, humans, or even smart contracts. All autonomously. And this isn't just theory. Projects like Fetch.ai are building marketplaces where AIs buy and sell services. Singularity Net is creating decentralized networks of AI models that anyone can use. And some developers are already experimenting with AI wallets, literally giving an AI its own crypto address so it can transact. Imagine an AI researcher agent paying for cloud compute to run simulations, or an AI agent hiring another AI to help render visuals. They don't need you to approve every step, they just do it. Alright, so how does all this actually work? Well, let me break it down. First, we have the smart contracts. Think of them like little digital agreements on the blockchain. They automatically run when conditions are met, like an AI saying, if I get this data set, send 0.01 ETH to the provider. No middleman needed. Then we have the AI wallets, which I've talked about. Each agent has its own crypto wallet, meaning it can hold money, pay other AIs for GPU power, or even get paid for a service it provides. Third are the oracles. Since blockchains don't know real world stuff by themselves, oracles feed in outside data like flight schedules, weather, stock prices. So your AI travel agent, yeah, it would query an oracle before booking you a ticket. Fourth, we have the DAOs, or the Decentralized Autonomous Organization. Now imagine scaling this up. A whole group of AI agents working together, voting on proposals, allocating money, basically running an entire company on their own. And then there's the compute hosting. The actual AI brains are too heavy to live on chain. So they run off the chain, but connect through APIs. Platforms like I mentioned, Fetch.ai or SingularityNet are building these marketplaces. And when you put it all together, contracts, wallets, oracles, DAOs, and the AI brains, and you get something wild. A fully autonomous digital worker. All right, now let's get real for a second. If decentralized AI agents really become what we think they can be, what does that mean for us? For communities, jobs, and everyday life? Because on one hand, it could be incredible. These AIs could handle boring repetitive work, like scheduling, logistics, transactions, giving people more time for creativity and problem solving, and actual human connection. Imagine a small business powered by autonomous agents that handle everything from customer service to accounting, letting the actual creators create. But then there's also the flip side to it. That's hard to ignore. Once these AIs can act, earn, and operate independently, they start replacing not just individual jobs, but entire systems of labor. We could see economies shift where wealth concentrates among whoever controls the most powerful AIs. It's like if today's digital divide is about internet access, tomorrow's might be about who has access to autonomous intelligence. And what about accountability when everything runs automatically when every transaction happens between two lines of code, where is the human in the loop? Who do you go to when something breaks, when an AI overcharges you, when it makes a biased decision? These aren't just tech questions, they're community questions. Because the second AIs start operating on their own, they begin shaping our environment. And it might redefine what trust really means. Instead of trusting a person or an institution, we'd be trusting algorithms written by people we'll never meet. And that could either make the world more fair or way more fragile. But I still don't think it's all that dark. If communities can get involved early, then instead of being left behind, we can co-create this future. 
And here's where I'm optimistic. These agents could accelerate research, make healthcare more efficient, or just create new opportunities for people who don't have access to traditional systems. Imagine combining decentralized AI agents with other tech like spatial computing or brain computer interfaces. A personal tutor agent appears next to your desk or a digital co-founder that builds a startup with you, but also has its own stake in the company. Look, I'm not sure how it's going to play out, but here's my question for you guys. If your AI assistant had its own wallet and could make money, would you trust it? Or does that sound like we're one step away from a cyberpunk dystopia? Drop your thoughts below, hit that like button if you made it this far, and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next one.